Hi friends, we will continue our uh, adding various charts to our PDF document using Python. So in this just we finished how you added uh, vertical bar graphs and horizontal bar graphs. Now let's start with uh, using the how we will develop the line charts and these line charts, these graphs, images all will find finally put together and draw a report that what we are planning. So let's learn this line graphs. This is the basic template we are using. You can see here from line number one, we are just importing some colors because red, blue, yellow like that we will be using. You can see that. And in the line number two, we have declared a variable which holds our path. In your case, this is going to be changed. You may have keep it in C drive, D drive. And what's the last, this one. This is our file name. So every time we do some changes, this file will be updated. So we'll have to refresh it and see what are the changes. Now at line number three, you can see the drawing we have imported. Now after that, this particular, you see the line charts. We have imported horizontal line chart. Earlier in our bar graph from the bar charts, we have imported horizontal bar chart, then vertical bar chart. We have all done that. Now let's, let me just uh, create the, in fact, in the last line number seven and eight, we are just creating the PDF files. This we kept it down. And so far this D we had a drawing part to the, that object we have not created yet. So this we kept it separately because we want this uh, uh, PDF file will not to be generated and it will integrate our main file. We'll see in the latter part, later sections of our uh, or some other tutorial on that when you will integrate all our line chart, bar chart, image, everything will integrate. So let's just uh, create the object D, it is our uh, drawing. So here I am just, it's like a drawing board. What sizes will be? I'm giving the width it is. So width is 1000 and then 500. So 500 is the height. I'm just writing it here, width comma height, fine. So that that is there. Now let's create the object for the horizontal line chart. So LC, you can give any other name. I'm giving horizontal line chart. That's all, now my LC is ready or my object is, uh, line chart object is ready. This object will have some basic options and values for that. So let's just paste that one. So what we will do, we'll bring it. I have those values. I have just pasted it. We'll understand, don't worry. We'll understand each and everything. So here it is. From here we have started and till here, line number 27. Okay. So we'll see each and every option values. We can change these values also and I'll see how it affects. First, let's see the data. It's a list inside that two set of data in the we are kept because two line charts are coming in our graph. So this is two. If you add one more then three will come. So let's try with you can just scale it up at any time. So you can see here that is 13, 5, 20. Okay, these are all sample data as you can change it. This data is a nothing but a list only. Now LCX, it is the from the drawing and the our chart how, where it will be positioned on the drawing. So it is at 50 means right side from the left edge 50 and vertically 50. You can change it to any value. Now this is our line chart height say 400. We have taken here drawing board as 500 and width part is 1000. Here we have kept width as 930 because the rest of the area 930 but 70 we kept it as margin for the both the ends. So this 50 is one one part of it is 50. So now that in the line number 16, we have integrated this data with our line chart. So line chart is there. Now here you can see there are two axes. In fact, we have all discussed about that. One is the value axis, another is the category axis. So value axis, we have told what is the minimum value, the graph should start from what value, zero then maximum value and how much the each step will be. We can change it also. Now the there is a category axis. Here it is category. We have kept some labels here. Then there is a say this uh, what it will be anchored with northeast it is anchored and the X and Y position as the whatever the labels goes in the category axis, the X position, how much it should be shifted in X, Y minus two means I am just bringing it lower because this is I am maintaining an angle of 30 degree. So and this particular each label will be maintained at 30 degree and it should not flush with that because this minus two will push it downward. So finally, we are adding it to our drawing D add, then the PDF is created. Now with this settings, I'm just saving this. Let's run this and see this with this, how our graph looks. Here it is. I am refreshing. 
yeah fine so this is what is now with this basic values what we are discussed see this labels they are at angle of 30 degree and y position minus 2 means from this axis it has shifted if i will change this so you let's see this one i am making it minus uh, let's say 10 so i am now what happens it will further come down i am just ref uh, running this again well, let's go and refresh it you can see it has these labels have this you can see these labels have come down and this is at an angle 30 so and here you can see the minimum value and this is the uh, our value axis it's the maximum and the step of 10 we can change it suppose I will give the step value so let me just bring it back to 2 and the value step let's let's make it 2 so a lot of labels will come let's just add saving it uh, so 2 so 0 to 50 with a step value of 2 so let me one second create this going here refreshing it see this axis all this axis you see it's at a gap of 2 2 2 2 it has gone up so this is how now let's these are all common in in other graphs also in inside our bar graph and vertical or horizontal all these are common now some specific changes specific to this line graphs we'll learn let me bring it back to 10 fine now these are all specific certain changes because one of the uh, thing is how, how to increase the width of the line so for that let's see lc dot lines lines zero means the first line i want that it's sorry here i'll go now this now it is stroke width stroke width equal to i'm giving it two so similarly let me just copy this next line i will the other line there are two lines you have seen so the other one is i can access by one stroke let me just move it a thicker one so it is four now so the let now let's see how this has changed you must have previous i am just creating it again so no error i am going here you, this is the original one i am refreshing so the changes will be reflected you can see that this line i have increased this is two now this is four okay let's just change the color of it so what you will do is now lc dot lines now the first one is uh, sorry first one is zero now i will say stroke color here stroke color equal to now this is colors dot let me give it a blue see that is why we have imported here at the line number one colors so that directly i am giving blue here so now let me just copy this so the next one i will make it one so those two lines i am giving of something of my own choice so i will put it red that's just that's all i think okay let me run it once see no error okay now let's go here and i'm refreshing it you can see the red and blue so these are all the common options you can change it so that's all friends uh, this if you have followed our earlier one of the bar chart almost all options are same everything is same we explained it in detail and here only some slight changes of the line color and all we have studied that one so i will request you once again please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends and ask them to subscribe also and put your questions suggestions ideas or any view you have in the comment section below and please request you once again to please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching